and she told us to give up, but I have no intentions of doing so. My goal is the same as Kaede's, get out of here with everyone. And that means I need to do something. I'm going to spend. I'm going to spend spend the next ten minutes. Spain. With... <laughs> <laughs> I'm this... so Spain. Actually, read his report card first. Maybe there's something new in the report card of what he likes. Um, no, his report is just uh, gonna explain what we did in the last time. So it's like, yeah, I was playing oh. a card for my life. Yeah. Really? So nothing changed. He still likes only that. Yeah. I do wonder if, like, I can buy soda from the casino. Give me a second to check it. I really doubt he's going to give me the possibility, but you never know. Yeah. And, like, worst case scenario, because I'm not going to spend the next 20 minutes to farm, like, coins. Maybe I will, like, get to sodas off screen at some point. Can I check the machine, please? Thank you. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. That's new though, right? Bang on werewolf. Yeah, it's a werewolf, it's um, salami. Oh, yeah, right. Alright. So, I'm not sure why I'm watching. It's probably gonna be easier to just. Oh, never mind. It's, it's easier to work from here. <laughs> I... Never mind, maybe... he's waiting for us outside. Yeah, maybe he was going to be like somewhere inside the school. So, yeah. I don't know. And what did we give him last time? Uh, the immortal drink that you thought that he oh, would yeah, like. Oh, yeah, the beer. Yeah, the beer. Alright, and I think I already have another beer, so. And we shouldn't give him the same things, though, wouldn't that be like. He doesn't. I don't think it matters. Uh, I'm going to try the beer and worst case scenario. We'll just... Why don't we? Okay. By the way, I went to check on the manhole, but it was covered in debris. But. But beyond that simple, do you think he'd move it for us if we gave him a little nudge? Uh huh. Should I hang out with Kajitsu for a while? Mm -hmm. Huh? You gonna spend time with me? I don't, but sure, I, I'll do it. Let's think of a surprise party for Antara when he comes back as a transfer student. It's going to be a prank. We're going to take out a, take a two guns from Maki's room, and as soon as he's back, we're gonna shoot him with them. Okay, I'm into that, but you'll shoot first, okay? Uh, yeah! Okay. Kokichi and I grew a little closer today, despite my misgivings. Would you like to give Kokichi a present? Definitely. Alright, so I'm going to trust your instinct this time and, like, hit me with another gift. Okay, uh, no, no, go and I want to see them one by one, that's how I want to do it. Let's see. Uh, next. Are we really going to spend, like, you're gonna read them all? Next. Next. Oh, actually, this is interesting. Uh, like, read out this, and I'm going to explain to. Uh, that's I, read, I read it. All right, that's an interesting history fact. So when, by the way, when you want to see the next one, hit me. go. I I don't read the names, so go with that, and I'll if I'll stop you if I see anything that maybe. All right. So uh, when the Romans were. Uh, like in Cleopatra's thing, they were doing a feast, and what Cleopatra said was like, "I'm going to eat like an entire uh, a huge fortune of money in like a meal," and like the Romans were like, "What? No, you can't do do that." Actually, I give him the bubble gum just to see what happens. The bubble gum? All right. Yeah. Uh, and what she did was she picked up like a little glass of uh, vinegar and she took out her pearl ear earring and she threw it in the vinegar and then it dissolved and she drank it and she 
8th and a dire feast and a dire fortress feast in a simple in a single sitting just as he said that's actually very interesting because like she knew about this physics this chemistry thing and she also used yeah. it to like showcase her smartness to the romans yep Mm, I guess this isn't that boring. You have plenty good taste, Sweetie. Well, not as good as mine. I'll surprise you with a gift on this day, Sweetie. Hey! Kukichi, are we going to play more games today? Shuichi! Hey, Sweetie, let's have a tea party today. Huh? What? A tea party? Hey, hey! Can we do it? Pretty pretty. Well, we're gonna do it, so let's go to the dining hall. Wait! Wait, Kuchichi! <laughs> mm hmm. This is so pleasant. I feel like my soul is coming back <laughs> to my body. Uh, okay. Okay. By the way, my organization requires everyone to have. An afternoon break. It increases productivity. Hmm. Ah, that sounds like a rather peaceful organization. Yeah. Yep, the Supreme Leader, <clears throat> me, is a pacifist. That's why I settle fights with games. By the way, everyone who lost to me should be working hard in Siberia right now. Siberia? Well, if they're even alive. <laughs> if they're even alive. But. Don't worry, Switchy. You'll be in heaven rather than Siberia. <laughs> no. I would prefer not to be. Hmm? In Siberia, I told you you won't be. Anyways, well. Okay. How about you just join my organization? Eh? If you remember, there'd be no problem. You're a pretty interesting guy, so I think joining might be good for you. I'm not sure. Because, like, I do not believe the organization is a lie. So... I mean, that's the one I would pick. <laughs> that's the one you would pick? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The organization is a lie is the one I would pick. <laughs> like... Uh, you know what? Ten. I'm going to trust your Instagram again. Um, yeah, sure. The organization is a lie, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, why do you think it's a lie? Are you that paranoid it's a trick? I suppose so. No one likes to be tricked, Kojiji. Hmm. Oh, really? Because... Trick the entire world and it will become the truth. The real truth isn't that great anyway. <laughs> trick the entire world. Well, you know. The world could be tricking you right now, and you wouldn't even know it. <laughs> 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 but I could also be lying about that. <laughs> isn't happy. So, I think I'm gonna head out. Ah, by the way, are you sure it was okay to waste this event without playing a game? Huh? Huh? Because? Now, there's one less chance for you to survive, you know. I already told you that you only have three events left, but you seem pretty relaxed. Wait! Wait a minute. You're the one who said we should drink tea today. So you're blaming me? <laughs> yes, sure, whatever. Huh? What? <laughs> right, that's it. That's the face I want to see. I'm the supreme leader of evil. I crush people's hopes and dreams. Thank you, Junko Enoshima. All right. Now, since I took my snack break, I should be able to work hard today. <laughs> Yeah, that went well. 
I shook off Kokichi's cheeky laughter, and I returned to my room. There's still time until night time, pre time starts. Anyway, I suppose it's night time. And she stumbles a curfew at night time. I wonder what will happen to training. That's true. I should go see what Kaito has to say about this. I'm worried about him. Oh! That's mm -hmm. interesting. Um, yeah. Right now I'm going to press right click, alright? See? And that's actually much more intuitive. Like, by pressing right click, by keeping hold of right click and moving left and right, it actually makes sense. Because, like, this. Oh no, it. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't understand. Like. Right now, I'm using A and D, A and D. But right now, I'm holding the right click and I'm moving the mouse to the right. Oh, okay, good. So that actually means that I can, I can basically do the whole thing by myself. Yeah. Um, do I have to check on his room? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if Kaito's okay. I hope he's feeling a little better. Kaito was about to ring the bell. The door to Kaito's room opened and out came. Ah, oh. ah, Maki. You see. Mad? Uh, okay. Oh, oh hey, hey, bro. P perfect timing. I got up all this to you too. Well... He told me he was going to skip today's training too. I knew it. So, he still doesn't feel well. My bad. It's pathetic, but it's... I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think I'll get better if I just stress a little longer, you know? Okay. Yeah, sure, Kaito. Do what you have to do. Nah. We'd have to resolve our training sessions either way. Come to think of it, reschedule. Yeah, reschedule. The season council said being out after night time was prohibited, right? Well, I told you. If you're feeling sick, that's one thing. But I don't want you to change the training schedule. You don't need to do that. I see. R really, but no. I don't want to skip it. So it be just the two of us training today. Huh? What? Really? What do you mean? You don't want to? Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Well, what does that have to do with training? Huh? Die? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. I didn't know such a habit existed. Well... Anyway, I don't want to give up now. I finally started to think about how I can confront it. Okay. So... If I have to train alone, so be it. Uh, um. Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well, but this really is unlike you, Kaito. I never imagined that you would obey Yanji. I thought you did whatever you wanted. My bad. Sweetie, I'm sorry, but can I have the train? Can I leave the train to you until I'm feeling better? Okay. Of course, Kaito. I nodded firmly, then chased after Maki and headed to the courtyard. I mean, I'm so sick my voice changed. Three times. <laughs> more than that. <laughs> Way more than this that. This is a rocket. 
right behind sure. here. This is a rocket. Yeah. Yeah. Hey! Machi, about Kaito, you shouldn't worry about it. He's just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not. My body stiffened on impulse. Like his eyes and the entire aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice and fire. Uh, she was um... basically. Shot to the rock. Head to the other Martin book. What? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have different references for that. <laughs> Maki? But your girl wasn't aiming at me. It was right past me. Uh, that such, such intense hostility. Hiya! So this is your power, and normal person will have passed out just from that. Claire, hiya! Huh? No, that's Thank not how God. it works. <laughs> kill her, kill her, kill her. You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. Hiya! Kill her, kill her, kill her, kill her. Oh. Uh, I'm not here to fight you. And I don't think you're here to enforce that curfew. Huh? What? That's right! That's right, Mikey. I'm not here as a student council member. I'm here to ask you a favor, a personal favor. Uh, um... A favor from us? Hey. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brain boost. Um... Yeah, I'm not brain boost at all. Hey, yeah! What? Hey! Can't we just kill her? Tenko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed in Atua. No. I could never believe in Nazi's God. Huh? What? Listen up! I only believe in Aikido. Hiya! As long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. Hiya! Aikido values mental fortitude, and Aikido moves a reflection of that attitude. Fortitude. Hiya! Thanks to Aikido, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Nazi's brainwashing. Hiya! Then. Just pretending to be brainwashed? Why would you do that? So that she has an inside and can protect Himiko. Hey! Yeah. It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? You pretend to be brainwashed to join the student council, right? Um. I think Himiko has gotten so lazy she's given up on taking for herself. <laughs> That's why she's depending on Nancy, but I think Nancy is dangerous. Whoa, no, why, why are you saying that Anzi is dangerous? The season guys lateralize Anzi so much that I don't see how dangerous she is. They don't see how dangerous she is. I see how dangerous she is. Don't, don't worry about it. Hiya! That became clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. Anzi really believes in Atua. She believes that she's under Atua's protection. Eh. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks it's Atua's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. Mm. And that's why you want me to kill her? Huh? Huh? Well... Asking someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. Uh, yes! I, I won't deny it! I couldn't have gone even before all this happened. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in their life. Yep, more than once, actually. But going through with it's a different thing. What? Going through with it is a different thing. Yeah. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Well. For you to rea do you realize who you're talking to? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. I. I just want to stop answering that the resurrection is too. Dangerous to try. She's gonna sacrifice herself. If we go along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing. But, but the student council won't defy Anzi, and I can't stop here on my own. Please. That's why I came to ask you to. You're the only ones who can stop Anzi. Huh? Only us? Uh, yes. Well, I obviously can't ask Kokichi, me, or Kiyo, and. 
Kite is not feeling well, you know? That's true. I see. You didn't have many options. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is true. Please! So please help me if you have to convince you have to convince us not to perform the ritual. I'm begging you. Think about down as deep as you could. Well go deeper. Well then, let's go. Huh? What? We didn't have a, even answer yet. Ugh, degenerate nails. Yeah. Quit complaining and do this favor for me, you degenerate. I mean, I'm bowing to you and I would never do that for any male. That's not the best thing to say to someone you need a favor from. Ew. You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not used to asking others for help. By the way. So what will you do, Suichin? This seems like something you'd ignore. What? This is something I'd ignore? Who do you think I am? No. No, I'll do it. I was just thinking as all. Well. You're gonna kill Anze? I agree with Tenko that, uh, that it's dangerous to go along with Monokuma's motive. Hey! Degenerate male! Then do something about it already. Hey, yeah! And I thought males were supposed to be decisive. Sneak attack! I guess I'll forgive you though. Did you just say sneak attack? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now let's go convince us together. <laughs> Should be preparing for the intro right now in the ultimate art lab. Huh? Where she killed herself. Yeah, she's so gonna be dead. I'm going to. Huh. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't ask just switch for help. Oh, yeah. You're the one who's gonna kill her. Oh, yeah. I just agreed to help, and this is how you treat me? Yes. Oh, well, I'll just go to Angie's lab. Okay, my tax. Yeah. I really think she's dead. Yeah, she sacrificed herself. And the question is... Do you want to end this now? I don't know. I, like, I want your opinion. Because I legitimately th think that this is not going to take like... It's going to be a long investigation. So you can leave the investigation for later? And... Do with just the oh no she's dead and continue from them. All right. Is that what you mean? Uh, no, I mean like we could end it now and just do the uh, like another session with the whole investigation, or we can um like. I mean she could also not be dead. <laughs> she could also not be dead. I'm not going to lie to you. But yeah, I'm. I'm but I'm like, my to sacrifice. My instincts sure. tell me that she's dead. And or, you know, f and you know, ending an episode on her being dead is a great cliffhanger. Like, oh, we found her dead. Anyways, start, save game. See ya. <laughs> That's a great cliffhanger. All right. I think it might just be nothing. It might be just a weird <laughs> thing that Get happens. It? Cliffhanger. <laughs> Yeah, this floor is weird. It gives me the hibbies. All right. All right. FBI, open up. It's right here. Just when I reach my hand towards the door. <gasps> By the way, we're three people. Sure. I'm pretty sure that the door is locked. Locked. Ah. Oh. Ah, that's right. Angie did say that there are locks in the room when she's that. She locks the room when she's working. I grab the doorknob anyway, just to test it. I knew it. So it is locked. Got a minute? Move. Mikey pushed me aside and began pounding on the door. FBI, what? open up! Angie, open this door. Now. Hey! Wait, Mikey, you can't do it like that. Stop being little missing patient. Oh, it's going to be a locked room. Then... Then how should I do it? Um... I mean, isn't the other door open? Haji will only open the door when a student council member calls for her. Tenko turned back to the door 
and gave it a nervous, a few nervous knocks. Please. Pansies, thank God. You could ignore the the other voices. <laughs> I gotta talk to you about the 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 the, the, the thing about Ratatouille. C can you open the door? I had it up to here you, with you, Tenko. You're gonna be murdered now. <laughs> Bye. Yes. Yeah, it, it's me. Hey, yeah. Also, you're alive. As the Tenko answered, the door flew open. Yaha! Yaha! Shall I help you? Huh? Yeah, why aren't you dead? <laughs> ha! Royal switch, you don't like it here. Uh, um. Um. Oh! Oh, I get it. You both wanna join the student council, huh? Look at this brush I'm Can going I to eat right now. Then you'll need to get acquainted with Atua. I will introduce you to him. So divine! Please come in. No. Can I kill her? Uh, no. It's not that. Well... Let's go for now. We can talk inside. Well... Well, I suppose. <clears throat> <laughs> Invited by Angie, we stepped into her lab. But... We weren't prepared for what we were about to see. There walks whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. Like Madame Tissot's. <laughs> Kaede, and Rotaro, Kirumi, Ryoma. There's a lot of rules in this group. I met them. Don't they look lifelike? Aren't they just divine? I guess she's the ultimate artist. Huh? You made them? Uh, yep. Yep. With my very own handcraft wax effigies. Huh? There. Wax effigies? Why? Of course, oh no. Of course. Why? For resurrection ritual of call. Uh... Um, according to Necronomicon, we need an effigy of the deceased to perform the ritual. Come on, come on! So I went ahead and made this. Uh... Simple doors probably wouldn't be better. Would, would have been better. But once I go to work, at what took possession of me? <laughs> and before I knew it, I had made this. What do you think? Aren't they amazing? What were you annoying about? Because of that, because the Necronomicon was like, at the moment she said it, like, oh no, the Necronomicon wants them to be like that, right? You do people think so innocently. It's it's a it's a bunch of statues. It's it's generally innocent. It like... switches that crash right there. He's now very sad. Huh? Huh? What? But it's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah, just like the real thing, but... Okay. Oh, I... It looks exactly like I had the, the face and body. It looks like the real thing. But actually... Oh, no, oh, sorry. Mistake. Hey! Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm-hmm. I see, I see. Reconsider what exactly? Remember. The ritual you had, you're trying to do. Uh, um... I don't think you understand how bad that might be. Remember that it was Monokuma's motive. Is what he wants to do. It can't be good. Actually, it was Monodam's motive. Ah. Uh... Well, technically, they're following a script, so it was Monokuma's. Mm. Right? Uh, yeah, I, I'm wondering though, is like Monodam's takeover part of the script, like assuming it's a TV show, uh, is it part of the script? Because like, Probably. this, they destroyed the, like, it, it led to the destruction of the flashback light, which again, I think it's an important plot point for the show. I think that's the one that wasn't part of the, yeah, or maybe even that, I don't know. Like, did they... Did Monodam take over, but they're still following the script, or was the takeover part of the script? That's a question. Mm. By the way, are you believing in the TV show theory? Sure. 
Do you okay. believe in mine? <laughs> I mean, you don't have to believe in mine. I believe in yours because, like, it had a lot of provable things. But the dead can't really come back to life, so the people who died must be alive. No. No, Angie, that's not possible. The bodies were not fake. I'm positive, especially after seeing the wax effigies. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real bodies still have traces of soul. A soul desperate to live, struggling to fight for fighting for life. That's something that can never be replicated. No matter what technology you have, you can fake a soul. Uh, That's true. Sweetie, how was um, Ryoma desperately trying to live? He was already dead in the tank, you know? I think it means that like you can still tell that somebody was alive even if they're dead or something. Someone is alive even, even if they're dead. Someone was alive even <laughs> if they were dead. Okay. <laughs> I can tell when you're alive, even if you're dead. <laughs> People <laughs> die when they're killed. <laughs> Ryoma, uh, Kirumi, Rantaro, and Kaede are dead. Okay. I agree. I have no doubts that their deaths were real. I did them. I mean, trust me, I've seen a person of dead bodies. I've also seen my first set of our life, but... I see, I see! <laughs> if that's what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. Woohoo! Then, if we do the ritual, will we actually resurrect the dead? What miraculous mystery? Huh? Um... This is stupid. What are you saying? Some of us died can't be resurrected. Actually, guys, I think you did the opposite of what you wanted to do. <laughs> hmm. But that's not what that was says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up to now will come back. Aji? I'm starting Aji, wait. to lose my voice. Yes? Aji, wait. I'm gonna stop you there. Did he say these exact words? Or did he say that you're gonna see those who died? I want you to answer me really carefully. Ah, uh, Atua speaks in mysterious ways. So did he say that if you perform this, one, you're going to see those four again? Ah, uh, sure. So if these four really are dead, then the resurrection ritual will surely work. <laughs> that must be right, cause Atua is never wrong. Um, you you don't gonna stop this, are you? Hiya. Of course, of course! Of course not! This is Atua's will! Hey. This is your will, not Atua's. No? Nah, uh -huh. it's Atua's. Atua told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. Doubt. So we <laughs> have to do it. We can't defy a direct command from Atua. We'll get punished. Or else. Will get punished, you know. Uh... You're probably still worried about the votive, Switchy, but it's okay. Atua has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside all thoughts of escape. Is that so? Is that so? Then there's no point talking anymore. I'll uh... get my knife out. Hmm. Are we done talking now? Because I'm still preparing for each one. <laughs> if you're gonna turn me down, slow me down, I'll turn you to watch a fixie. Yeah, ha ha. Hey. Tenko, let's go back for now. I think we may need another plan. Yes. Okay. After failing to persuade Angie, we reluctantly left the lab. It's already night time, so please be careful as you head back to your rooms. Right, right. Oh, and... Uh-oh. 
It's safe to say that Echo has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? Huh? But, but... He's okay, he's okay! I forgive you because Atua forgives you! He's such a softy, you know? Atua! I hope you recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this place a paradise! Uh, yes! Yes! Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> from from one annoying person to another. Why are Switch and Maki here? They're not on the student council, and it's night time. Here we go. It'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Tenko simply betrayed the student council <laughs> and brought this two to change my mind. Yeah. Ah. She's betrayed us! That sounds like a big problem. But you're saying it like it's nothing then. And you really are loved by Atua. Jeez. And you are loved by Atua in return, Himiko! Stop it, you're making me blush. Cut it out already! Okay. Maki, this is Metax talking. I'll get you out of this school if you kill Tenko, Himiko, and Taj right now. Tenko walked towards Himiko and gripped her firmly by the shoulders. Yeah. Himiko! Please snap out of it. Aren't you a maid? No! <laughs> that hurts. Let me go! <laughs> Himiko, why can't you see that you've been brainwashed? You can't even see that then. You're not a real mage at all. She's not. What? What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you hadn't show it. Go. Get mad. Get upset. Yell at me. Just fight back already. Do something. Hiya. Uh, um. Tenko, let's just leave it be for now. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't believe I just yelled at you. Uh... You must be tired, Tenko. I think it will be best if you get some rest. Bye, Yonara. Sounds good. Until then, I'll continue my preparations to welcome our friend. Himiko didn't look Tenko in the eyes. That's gonna be their last interaction, fuck. After leaving Ganges' lab, the three of us return to the dorms. Um. Tenko, are you okay? <laughs> okay, Super Mario. <laughs> I, I said all those horrible things to him, and now I don't know what to do. Uh, I know she'd never hate me, but she'll demote me from best friend to just a friend. Huh? You guys were best friends? Uh, no. Well, well, if you turn that to the nearest call number, we're basically best friends. Hiya! I feel like you're riding up a little too much there. <laughs> well. I like this. Well, if you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right! That's it! We'll be like an old married couple once we overcome this rough patch. Wow, that was a quick turnabout. Turn around. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. You should let Switchy teach you how to apologize. He's really good at it. No. Really? That's the first time I've heard that. Piece of cake! Don't worry, I'll use my own words to apologize to Himiko. Hiya! How did we. did we ever apologize? All the time. <laughs> okay. Well then, see you tomorrow. Good night. Waving happily, Tenko returned to her room. <sighs> she bounced back rather fast. I guess I didn't need to worry. Ah! Oh. Ha! <laughs> you were worried? What? Huh? Is it worth for me to worry? 
Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Huh? Is it like your like mod or something? It's no, really I think it's just that if if someone was doing something they don't like in the Academy of Killers, they would just give them one chance to do what they want. Otherwise, they would kill them. So they would like, do you want to die? Oh no, your hair is beautiful today. <laughs> Wrong cancer. Ah! Ah. There's that habit again. Well, I suppose on the positive side, she's able to act more like herself around me. Well. What about the ritual? Have you given up on persuading Anzi? Yes, completely. No. I don't want to give up, but changing her mind might require less orthodox methods. I need to think of another way. Hmm. Less orthodox methods. Got it. I'll think about it. Maki here is back to her room. Hmm. So Maki is going to, about, to think about it too. I didn't expect that. But I'm glad. Especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place. But I don't know about... Uh, what? Not about anyone either. Oh, okay, I get it. That could be a good thing. Or it could be a bad thing. Well, I thought it would be Monokuma theater as well because... Nah, you know. nah, I think like he's going to die in this episode and then Monokuma is going to come back. Mm. In a past life, I was a fish. I grew up in a pond in a rural town, but I always dreamed of the city one day while my parents were feeding i ran off to the city likely i was caught by a rich person who let me attend human school but the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons. Like they said, oh wow, you're a robot and a bear and a fish? I mean, look, I don't, I'm not usually the kind, good or whatever guy, rational guy, whatever. There is no good reason to bully anyone. I agree. Because of my order and because of how I would flop around on my desk. And because of the way my mouth opened and closed as if I was dying. I'm dying. The... what? I'm dying. I'm slowly what? dying and I have to spend this reading this Monokuma theater one of the theaters. What? Why are you dying? Everyone's dying. Oh, that's right. The <laughs> of my past life haunts me to this day. You know what? They gave this to the the least interesting of those characters. Yep. That's why I can never forgive bowling. What the fuck? Is this his actual backstory? <laughs> I swear on my past life that I will get along with everyone. And alright, I say we add it here. Sure. Just for posterity's sake, because I really think that like 
this is either going to be already or somebody's already dead or somebody's going to die pretty soon also I mean it's a good it's a shorter one but it's a good length for a session it actually was four dots this time well huh? someone's at the door but we're gonna see who it is next time see you guys then Bye-bye!